Hey YouTube fans, people of the interwebs, it's me, Sam of SG1, or Tony, coming at you for a, um, mm, a bit of a, meant to be a little bit of a meltdown rant type of video. Um, basically, um, this morning, oh, sorry, I almost took my teeth there, a bit of fluff, how's that happened? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yes, I got an email this morning, um, from YouTube. Sam of SG1, today we're announcing changes to the YouTube partner program, the YPP. While our goal is to remain... Our goal re remains to keep um, YPP open to as many channels as possible. We recognise that we need more safeguards in place to um, more safeguards in place to protect creator revenue across the YouTube ecosystem. Now that's a very good, interesting word to use. Ecosystem. Um, what's changing under the new eligibility eligibility requirements announced today your youtube channel sound with sg1 is no longer eligible for monetization because it does not meet the new threshold of 4000 hours of watch time in the past 12 months and a thousand subscribers and a thousand subscribers as a result your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with YouTube Partner Program on 20th of February unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days. According to this email, accordingly, this email serves as 30 days notice that your YouTube Partner Program terminates, uh, terms are terminated. So that's lovely. One of your YouTube core, one of YouTube's core values to provide anyone the opportunity to earn from money from a thriving, thriving channel, creators who have yet reached this new threshold can continue to benefit from our Creator Academy. Never used it, never likely to. Um, our help center and all our resources on the Creator site uh, to grow their channels. Once our channel reaches, once your channel reaches a new threshold, it will see it will be reviewed to make sure it adheres to our policies and guidelines. And if so, monetization will be re-enabled. So it's not even a guarantee that will that they they will monetize your videos after you reach this new threshold, um, after they've moved the goalposts. Because then again, by the time you've you've sat there and done YouTube and made it a big channel and all the rest of it, there's nothing stopping YouTube to either not grant you access to the partner program, but then decide that they're going to move the goalposts. Again, to stop these you the little YouTubers, um, you know, getting delusions of grandeur. I guess. Um, I know why they've done it, and I can see why they've done it. This, um, you know what I mean? Um, because of there's been, you know, um, was it Logan Paul? Um, You know what I mean? Um, there we go. Additional changes to the YouTube program um, to better cre better protect creators. Mm, doesn't sound like it. 2007 marked a tough year for many of you. So several issues affected our community and the revenue earned from advertisers through the YouTube partner program. Despite those issues, uh, more creators than ever are earning a living on YouTube with a number of channels making over six figures uh, over 40% year over year. In 2018, a major focus for everyone at YouTube, protecting our creator ecosystem, ensuring revenue is more stable. Basically, what that means is some of these big, big YouTubers have fucked up and fucked up big time. And so this video that's either got, you know, you know, whatever content they've got that's not, um, you know, doesn't doesn't meet the guidelines, so I always say, for advertisers. Um, and there's been an advert advert on there, and the video's been either offensive or, um, you know, just inappropriate in some kind of way. Um, yeah, th that's happened, and now they've gone shit. We need to sort something out, and you know, and it's now become um, apocalypse again. Um, also. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Um, yeah. As Susan mentioned in December, we're making changes to address the issues that affected our community in 2017. We, uh, so we prevent bad actors from harming the in inspiring original creators around the world who make their living on YouTube. A big part of their, a big part of that effort is strengthening our requirements on monetization. Spam, so spammers, impersonators and other bad actors, they've said that twice now, um, can't hurt our ecosystem and take advantage of you while continuing to reward those who make a platform great. Well, that's a good that's a good thing because it stops people making inappropriate content that get that's getting money, um, you know, in a way that they shouldn't be getting money, you know, in my opinion. But 
what but by moving the goalposts you've now made it harder for us little guys to earn any money i mean i was not earning money anyway i'd earn about 31 dollars which is about 24 quid 25 quid something like that um do you know what i'll, I'll check because um Because you've got to make, you've got to get the paywall of a hundred dollars before you can start drawing it out. So uh, let's have a look. Um, my ads. Let's have a look. Um, Twenty-three pounds and forty-two uh, p I've made on YouTube um, over three years. Um, now that's great. You know, because it because I can't access this until I've made a hundred dollars. So does that still count? Do I now get this money? Uh, mm. But um, but yeah, I can see why they've done it, and and yeah, they've got to protect their um, you know, their adverts and stuff like that. That's fine. But you've now because one person fucked up, it's now affected the rest of us, and it's affected us in all the way that um. We, it seems like they're protecting the big guys and letting us little guys sort of, you know, f fight over each other for, you know, for their amusement, so to speak. Um, like I said, it's a good thing and a bad thing. I think what the, the good thing is that it stops people like um, Logan Paul fucking up and stuff like that. Um, but at the same time, it's made people the you know, that put out regular content and, you know, they're inoffensive and talk about spaceships or whatever. And, um, you know, it's now made it harder for us to do what we do, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, like I say, I don't, I'm not earning enough money to even to be complaining about it, to be perfectly honest. But what I'm complaining about it is, is what I'm complaining about is they've hit us little guys and there's obviously more little guys than there are the big guys. And even though we're not getting views like they are, we're still getting views. I'm getting fairly consistent views on my channel. Um, you know, um, and it's good. I mean, I like doing videos. I like making videos, you know, like I'm doing now. I like it as a hobby. I mean, if I got some money back from it, that'd be great. I could use that money to either um, buy more equipment or buy, you know, really cool stuff to review. But I think what's ha what's going to happen in short is, well, firstly they've alienated a lot of people that um, that are just making enough money to, you know, think oh there might be a future in this. Now you've moved the goalpost again. It's get, like I say, it's getting to a point where I think you're just gonna you just want. The, the, the big guys and once you know and get rid of all those other, all those little guys um but that's what it feels like to me at least um because i've been thinking about it at work and i just thought well yeah i'm not getting you know ten thousand views a video or anything like that but i'm getting consistent steady views and i and i and i'm enjoying what i'm doing i don't worry i'm not leaving anywhere i'm, I'm still going to be doing this channel but it just seems because of one person's fucking the thing, the reason is, right, I'm going to go through it. I mean, I've not seen the video. From what I understand, Logan Paul made this video about um, a suicide hotspot in Japan or something like that, and they found a hanging corpse or something. Um, and I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it was just one of their friends, you know, messing around or whatever. Um, and apparently the video was a bit disrespectful, this, that, and the other, and a bit, you know, and properly offensive as well. Um, and... It was trending on YouTube, and I think um, YouTube didn't catch it in time. And I think somebody at Google went, "Hang on, you know, what is this video? You should be looking into it." And then YouTube just went unilaterally, just went, "Well, anybody, you know, we're just gonna look at anybody's video, and if you don't meet our requirements now, fuck you, basically. Not right. We're gonna get rid of this guy. That's it. You're gone." you know, and you were not allowed ever to do another YouTube video, that's what should have happened. But um but to to penalise the little guy, 
for not doing that, for not doing anything except just doing what you do. You know, that's what I have issue with. That's the problem I've got is, you know, because one person fucked up, it's now affected the rest of us. And that's what I have issue with. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to stop talking now because I'm going to rant it further. Um, anyway, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash that notification bell to tell you when I've got new videos out. And please, please, please subscribe. That'd be awesome. Um, and um, I will be back tomorrow uh, with a spaceship video. Um, yes. Or, uh, no, a Transformers review because I'm still missing my Lakiran vessel. But anyway, um, I will catch you all later and I will um, see you later. Catch you all later and see you later. What we're we talking about. Bye for now.